hello guys welcome to another video uh, and in this video we are going to be configuring a static route between two vsrx and a vsrx is a firewall it's a juniper firewall running the junos os system so that's what we are going to be doing and this is for the Gensia certification and uh, you need to learn how to um, basically configure a static route and how to monitor um, a static route in Junos uh, OS for the Gensia certification. So we are going to start with this, and I'm I am using um, even G. You can use uh, GNS3 if you have a VSRX running in GNS3. You can use that. So any um, VSRX wherever you are running it, um, you can use it. So um, also. I want you guys to know that I have a Palo Alto Networks PCNSC complete course on, U on Udemy. So if you want to learn, if you want to pass the PCNSC, um, go ahead and get my course. Um, I'm going to leave a coupon, 50% coupon on the description below of this video. And as you can see right here, it has two practice tests that you can take at the end. It has um, 209 questions. It has 187 lectures and he has um 17 hours total hours um for this um course so if you want to learn um palo alto network viral and pass the pcnsc or the pcnse go ahead and take my course and like i said i'm going to leave a description below um other than that let's go ahead and start with this um juniper configuration so I have not configured anything on this VSRX besides the password, I believe. So we are going to log in into it. Yes, so yeah, I have a password configured. So after you log in, you want to go into the CLI. Then you want to go into configure. So for now we're here. The first, uh, the first configuration that I want to do is uh, configure GE0 slash 0 slash 1 with this IP address and I'm going to configure this one over here with that IP address. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So you want to set um, the interfaces uh, set the interfaces um, GE 0 slash 0 slash 1 and that's this for my local over here and you want to do the unit 0 and unit zero is basically what I'm telling it is I want to configure this physical interface um, and the logical interface that I want to use is uh, unit zero. So lo logical interface zero. Because in Juniper, in the Juno OS, you have to configure a logical interface um, whenever you're going to configure the, the, the physical interface. So we basically, what happens is that we don't use in, Ju in Juno OS, we don't use the physical interface. We use logical interfaces to add the IP addresses. So we are going to be using um, logical interface zero, right? Um, and then after that, you want to do a family. So family is what family of IP is it? IPv4 or IPv6? Which one are we going to use? You need to tell it that you want to use init. Um, init is for IPv4. If you do six, that, that will be for IPv6. But since we're using IPv4, we are going to just leave it as init. And then you're going to type address. And we're going to type the IP address of 172.16.2.1 slash 24. Then you want to set interfaces. Uh, this one is going to be for GE 0 slash 0 slash 0 unit and this is one is going for to you for this one over here um, family init address um, init address 192 that wants h that one the one slash 24 good so now what I want to do is I want to try to ping this IP address and see if I'm able to ping that IP address. So if you do a run, run basically is like the do command on a Cisco router. If you have worked with Cisco before, it is like the do command. Um, so if you want to do 
since I am in the configuration mode and I don't want to leave my configuration mode, I can do run and do whatever um, command I want to do. So I want to ping 172.16.2.2. And it says can oh that's because uh, I keep forgetting that I have to commit after every uh, after every configuration. This is comes to me because I have used Cisco so much that I forget that for Genos OS you have to commit um, for you to use that configuration. So let's go ahead and do the run ping again. And as you can see, it is still not working. I am unable to ping. And it's not giving me any like host on ritual or don't know how to get there. It is um, the reason why this is not working is because we I am running a VSRX and a VSRX is a Juniper firewall. Okay. And what do firewalls do by default? Well, by default, firewalls denied everything. So since it, it is denying the ping right now. I need to allow this interface. Um, I need to make this this interface um, gigabit zero slash zero slash one to allow ping, right? Because the Docker for it is trying to reply, but we're not getting anything because it is denying it. So I need to allow ping. And the way that you do that, you want to do a set security zones. Then security zones, security, security, security zone. After that, you want to go into the trust zone. Then you want to go interfaces. Then you want to add the interface that you want to add, which is GE zero slash zero slash one. Then you want to do a host inbound traffic. Then you want to do system services or system dash services. And what which service do you want to add? Do you want to allow all? Do you want to allow any service? DHCP, DHCP v6, DNS, finger. Uh, I don't know what a finger service is, but yeah, finger, FTP, HTTPS. What what is it that you want to allow? I want you want to allow ping right here, internet control message, protocol echo request. So let's go ahead and allow ping. We also need to allow ping on this interface over here, um, so we can um, have connectivity. So we are going to do it on this interface as well. So let's go ahead and do that again. Set security zones security zones um, trust we are going to go into interfaces gigabit zero slash zero slash zero host bound um, host inbound traffic system services ping then you want to commit do not forget to commit if you don't commit we won't be able to ping so now you want to do a run ping 172 that's 16 that's two, that two and there we go now we are getting a reply from Docker number four. So we are able to um, ping 172.16.2.2. Uh, okay, so that is done. So after that is done, what we need to do is, or what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into this VSRX, this other one right here, I'm going to configure gigabit zero slash zero slash one. And then gigabit zero slash zero slash zero, okay. And then after I do that, I'm going to I'm going to do the same, I'm going to allow ping for both interfaces, and then I'm going to configure the static IP address so we are able to ping um, this line over here and this line over here from any from any place. So let's go ahead and put this down. I'm going to go to this VSRX uh, root. Enter my password. We are going to go CLI. Then we are going to go into configure. First, let's go into set interfaces. Gigabit. Um, zero slash zero zero slash one. Um, then you want to go into the unit zero, the logical interface. We are going to do family init address one seventy two that sixteen that one one slash 24 then we want to configure set interfaces ge 0 slash 0 slash 0 unit 0 family init address 192.168.1.2 slash 24 now 
um, what we need to do is we need to um, allow ping on both of those um, interfaces right so you can do a set um, security zones security zone trust then you want to do host inbound then system or oh, actually let me see did I forget something trust yep I need to do interfaces GE 0 slash 0 host inbound um, system services then you want to allow ping you want to do the same for the other one security zones security zone trust interface GE one host inbound system ping great now you want to go ahead and commit um, you, actually I'm not going to commit my changes just yet because now I'm going to configure the static routes the way they do that is you want to do set um, routing options set routing options static route um, and now it's going to ask you the destination so what is the destination that you want to do so I want to do the destination to 172.16.2.0 slash 24 which is this land right here so from this VSRX that I am right now I want to be able to reach this network so 172.16.2.0 slash 24 um, so now it's going to ask you um, basically uh, the next hop that's what we're going to do so the next hop destination is going to be so if you want to um, get to this network over here to this lane you want to get to 182.168.101 because he knows how to get to this lane so we're going to do next hop 182.168.101 commit so now if I ping this lane over here I'm going to be able I know this um, this firewall knows that if I'm if I want to send um, if I want to ping this lane right now this lane right now is going to know that I need to send it to this VSRX but we won't be able to get a reply because this VSRX do not know how to get back so what we need to do is we need to go into this other VXRX and we need to configure that static route because we did not configure so we you want to set um, routing options static route um, it is going to ask you the source 172.16.1.0 slash 24 and then the if if I'm going to if I tr if I'm trying to reach this lane where should I send it so you should send it to 182.8.1.2 um, system error da -da -da -da. okay I forgot to put the next app And we are going to commit after we are done committing we are going to exit out of here we are going to go into this docker um, it's basically um, a Linux machine that it is running so let's give it a couple seconds for it to load there we go so we are going to go into applications we are going to go into system tools um, and I'm going to go into mate terminal and I'm going to bing 172.16.1.2 which is this machine right here and I should be able to get a reply from it and there it is I am getting a reply from this docker uh, one okay so now we are going to go into this docker one over here and I'm going to ping docker 4 which is 172.16.2.2 and since we got a reply from docker from uh, when I ping from docker 4 to docker 1 I was able to get a reply that means that we are also going to get a reply from Docker 4 if I try pinging from Docker 1. Um, and it's, it's not loading. Let's go ahead and why go ahead and load it again. There we go. Application system tools made terminal ping 172.16.2.2. And there we go. And that's also should be able to ping. 172.16.2.1 which is this VSRX um, default gateway this one right here 
as you can see I'm able to get a reply so that's how you are able to configure a static route um, also how you're able to allow ping on an interface so we are able to test that and this is it for this uh, video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I have done a lot of Cisco uh, I am trying to learn Juniper it is really cool you should also um, learn how to um, how to use Juniper because it is a really good system um, it could um, be a really good if you get your Gencia certification it could be it could look really really good along with your CCNA along with your CCNA routing and switching and if we have the Gencia also it should look really good on your resume um, so, so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips if you guys enjoyed this video and if you have a Twitter account go ahead and follow me on Twitter CCNA daily tips um, also if you don't have a Twitter account go ahead and create one and then follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips also if you want to learn the Palo Alto Networks PCNSC you can go ahead and check my complete course plus he has um, two practice tests or two exams at the end he has over 17 hours 187 lectures 209 questions so go ahead and take a look at my um, Palo Alto Networks course and I'm going to leave a link on the description below thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one guys bye bye